Hey guys, today we'll be making an adorable, ruffle, poofy deco mesh wreath. What you will need, I have a wreath ring, some white deco mesh, you can add in different colors if you choose. I have these adorable Easter eggs. Again, you can add in blue, pink, and green deco mesh to your wreath if you choose to do so. A hot glue gun. And scissors. Alright, let's get started. So I want to start with two rolls of mesh. Layering them one on top of the other. And another idea you can do if you want to go with a roll of white and a roll of blue or a roll of white and a roll of pink, you can definitely do that. Just have fun with it and make it your own. So I'm going to fold the mesh to a nice little point. Start on my inner ring. And I'm going to tie my mesh in a knot. Just like that. And you can cut away the excess, but once you start making your wreath, it won't be visible. So I'm going to pull the mesh in the first space to make my first set of loops. And then into the second space to make another set of loops. And then one more set in the third space. Try to keep your loops as uniform as possible, but if they're not the exact same, that's not a huge deal. Just like that. Scrunch. Twist your mesh a couple of times. And then come back to the first section and repeat the steps all over again, making three loops. Okay, just like that. If you want a larger poofier wreath, then make your loops larger. If you want a smaller wreath, then keep your loops pretty small. Either way works. Be sure to have extra mesh on hand just in case. So I like to go with two rolls of my loops in each section. You can definitely scrunch and add one more if you choose to do so. But since I'm layering my mesh, I'm just going to separate the layers when I'm completely done with the wreath. But if you want to just keep the layers doubled and add another row of loops, again, you can definitely do so. So I'm going to repeat the same steps, twisting my mesh a couple of times. And come over to the next section. And I'm just going to do this all the way around my wreath. Alright, so I am almost out of mesh. What I'm going to do is just twist the mesh once more. And I'm going to tie the knot on the inner ring. So, I'm going to cut this mesh away. Then I'm just going to come on the inner ring and tie it in a knot. And then just cut away the excess. So two rows of mesh layered one on top of each other made it all the well, made it halfway around the wreath. So I'm going to get two more rows and finish up. Same steps as in the beginning. I'm just going to make one more knot here. And then just continue on with my loops. Once the wreath is complete, the knots will not be visible.
have all of the mesh in place. Since I did use two rolls of mesh, I have the option of separating the layers, kind of like that. So I'm going to go around and just kind of separate some of the layers just to make it even poofier. I used white for both layers, but if you use, say, pink and white or blue and white, green and white, then it'll be a little more uh, visible. Just like that. Now it's so cute and poofy. And now it's time to add our embellishments. Now I decided to go with these adorable plaid printed eggs. But I also have some cute little carrots that would be just as adorable. So you can go with whatever you decide. Just have fun with it and make it your own. And what I like to do before actually gluing it in place is to kind of place them where I think I want them to be. And kind of see what it looks like before gluing them down. And if you don't want to glue your items, you can definitely take, um, it's going to be a little difficult with the eggs, but you can definitely take uh, floral wire or Chanel stems, anything like that. But gluing is just a quick and easy way that I prefer. So I think that looks so cute and precious. You can even group the eggs in pairs or bundles. If you want to do something like that and have like little bows in between, that's completely up to you. Well, I believe I have all of my eggs exactly where I want them. You can even add an adorable sign to the center, whatever you'd like. Now I'm just going to use my hot glue gun and go ahead and get these eggs glued in place. wreath looks so cute and precious and adorable already. I think I'm going to add just like one simple little bow for a final finishing touch. And I just chose pink, but you can go with pink, green, blue, or a combination of all three. I just used a Chanel stem to attach my bow. And I have videos I will link in the description box down below showing you how I make different styles of bows. But I'm just going to attach my bow with my Chanel stem. And you are all done. So cute, simple, and easy to make. I will also link a video down below on how you can curl the ends of your ribbon to make them as curly or as loose as you prefer. Like I said, you can add a bow that has all three colors. You can leave the bow off completely. You can have an adorable sign in the center. Whatever you prefer. Just have fun with it and make it your own. Mm -hmm.